Where are you taking me? I was gonna take you to my hideout. But first, I gotta rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another game of Jerome. My name's AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Even though this is Ratchet and Clank, we are actually playing as Rivet right now. Okay, so we have... Yeah, all the weapons that Ratchet had. Okay. Ah, oh, gosh. Time for a late night upload, I guess. Sorry for not uploading the last couple days. Just haven't been feeling great. You know how it goes. I can't tell if these are... Nope, those are baddies. There we go. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm get I'm getting more stretches of time that I'm not feeling like crap. But uh, you know, still getting over COVID and all that shit. But uh, like I said, getting definitely getting better. I'm uh, probably going back to work soon, so you know, nice to get back to regular life. Though I do kind of feel like a piece of shit because I haven't. Uh, I, I've really not been staying up to date on gaming news. I've really just kind of let that sit on the back burner. And, uh, you know, this last week and a half, what, you know, it's been... Great. There's a seeker peed right over my hideout. I haven't been out this far in a while. Got a lot of swamp acid between here and the Mortz's gelatonium factory. Those beetles appear to have no issue with the acidic swamp water. Speedles, yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one, as soon as I can get close enough. See, as I was saying, um, with E3 and a whole bunch of stuff, you know, even though I know... Can you read me? Oh, dear. My communicator must be broken. Of course. With E3 being... Gotta find a way through the swamp. Are you done with the dialogue? It wasn't what was in my account last time. That is because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. Uh, who doesn't love a day in the sun? Rooting your enemies into the ground with the topiary sprinkler. Spun and turret that warps your foes into the fenceless trimmable hedges. And I need more bolts to be able to buy that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, nah, you know what? I'll keep saving up raritonium. Raritanium, that's what it is. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, um... Uh, you know, I mean, I, I was planning on doing stuff differently this year because E3 was all digital and whatnot. But yeah, I haven't watched any of the streams. I haven't. Uh, yeah, I've just, I've, I've totally been out of the loop. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly, uh, exactly what I'm gonna do this year for E3 stuff. I'm probably just going to dig through the streams and, you know, pick out uh, clips or whatever that I find interesting. You know, I've already got some stuff on my uh, Watch Later playlist on YouTube. That, you know, stuff I was just going to cover before I got, uh, you know, before I got sick. There we go. Give me the actual gun I wanted. You dispatch them quite capably. 
So, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, either way, my uh, my plans right now are kind of up in the air. Not really sure what all I'm gonna do. You know, like I said, though, I feel, I kind of feel bad about skipping the E3 season and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, it's usually my favorite time of year, but I don't know. I, it's just, it's hard for me to get hyped this year with it just being all digital. You know, because it's like, okay, so I can, uh, I don't know. I feel like people are still trying to keep the thing alive. Like, and don't get me wrong, I've, I've loved E3 for the longest time, even though it's... You know, been kind of losing popularity here or there, but there's something about the digital E3. It's just I I can't get hyped for it. Interesting. You must have a lift tether in your glove too. I mean, especially after last year, I remember I tried to I tried to do videos for uh, Jeff Keeley's. Um, what is this place? I um a dimensional pocket. <laughs> he says with a question mark. How do you come up with this stuff? Um, well, yeah, last year, Jeff Keighley's opening night live for Gamescom. I tried watching that, but, man, the, the stream quality was just really bad. The mics were all over the place. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the speedle. Yeah, I've just, I've just been really un... Hitting its nest might get its attention. The hell I can't I can't freaking speak right now. Um Oh, cool. I can even edit. Oh, neat. You can edit the colors, too. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the armor stuff's cool and all, but I actually, I, I like the default costumes. Like, I was actually kind of excited to get the, uh, to get the new costumes, but just the default the default outfits are just I, I like them better. I don't know, I guess uh while I'm kinda on the uh, okay, maps offline. While I'm kinda on the topic. Uh you know, anybody even following any E three stuff, you know? Anything interesting? If you want to send me any links uh, in the, in the, down in the comments or anything, feel free. Happy to hear from you guys on that stuff. Um, but I don't know. What, what have you guys kind of thought about it? All this digital E3 and whatnot. I did have to laugh my ass off at the um, at this article I saw. Was uh, I, it, it wasn't E3 or trade show related. It was uh, Phil Spencer. <laughs> I saw this on Twitter. Apparently, Phil Spencer was calling out Sony, according to, you know, the people writing, they're like, ooh, they're calling out Sony for the fact that they're not doing day one uh, PC releases alongside their PlayStation 5 games. You know, I, I mean, I, look, I get why PlayStation's moving stuff over to PC. You know, they've done it with Days Gone. They did it with, uh, I know Death Stranding got moved. I know that Horizon Zero Dawn got moved. You know, there's been a few games here or there that, they're moving over, but they're not, but you know, they're doing it way after. I mean, I, I, it's obviously just a way for Sony to milk some extra bucks out of some IPs mixed with the fact that it, it's a way to kind of drum up maybe some extra business for some people to maybe pick up some consoles and play um, Forbidden West. When that game comes out, the next Kojima game, whatever the hell it's going to be, well, that are just, just Kojima's. I don't know. They're just trying to spread the glorious word of Kojima. I don't, I don't freaking know. Woo! 
Oh, crap. That <laughs> didn't work. But yeah, all in all, it's just... It, it makes me laugh that Phil Spencer's giving them shit for... Oh, they're not releasing stuff on PC. Well, yeah. Why is that surprising? You know, you got Spencer kind of doing his whole, Oh, well, we're committing to releasing stuff on PC as well as... As well as Xbox, and I'm sitting there going, "Yeah, that's a that's a really brave commitment when your company is also owned by Microsoft." It's like, yeah, no shit, your games are gonna go to PC. Uh, it's, it's just, yeah, it's made me laugh. And it also makes me think, God damn, Phil Spencer is just doing everything he can to... And, and I get it. He, You know, Sony's competition to Xbox, even though Phil Spencer said they're not competition because they're not playing the same game or whatever. I don't know. But if Phil Spencer finds a way to both piss me off and... Be careful. What did I say about backseat driving? Phil Spencer finds a way to both piss me off and make me laugh at the same time. Alright, nothing I can find over there. Look at me go. Any other cool stuff I can get? Alright, doesn't look like there's anything over there. Ooh, more raritanium. God damn, this game's quiet to me, but I've got, like, pressure buildup or something in my ears, so everything sounds just extra quiet. Bugging the shit out of me. 
I know, you know, I've, I've done nothing in this video but complain, but... Well. That's, that's why I have this YouTube channel. That's right, it was 90% complaining. Do, 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 do. Just kind of running around, seeing if there's anything else to find. I don't think so. go um, anything else I don't Ooh. and what's back here? So it's a way back to another platform. <laughs> to get back there, I need another uh, speedle. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. God damn it. There we go. off the map. Now if we could get away from this acid. Come on, Maynard. Let's find the morts. Okay, so all the uh So it looks like all the uh the chests and everything that I've broken open are still broken. At least the ones back there work. How much was that, uh, the topiary sprinkler? Wasn't it, uh, 4,000? So next time we see a Zircon, we can get that purchased. That. 
And that. If anyone's wondering, yes, it is necessary for me to destroy all the, uh, all the boxes. How are you going to count that half second? See, they are looking for Ratchet. I am telling the... Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't notice that we also have a quick select. So yeah, I'll take the Enforcer and my Bomb Glove and you know what? let's make the Negatron Collider at the top. She just called Clank Bolts. Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. You know, I don't think I've been using the uh, Enforcer right this entire time. Because I thought the both barrels shot in one singular blast. But no, you gotta hold it down a little bit and let both barrels fire one, two. So I think I, this entire game I've been using the... I've only been using half the Enforcer. She's been working on. Zerkies? Oh, those pirates didn't give you any trouble, did they? Eh, only a little. You can give this to Mort yourself once you get her from that purple mess over there. Wait a minute, but aren't, aren't you Mort? Wait, who's Mort? Enemies not getting the point? Hit them over and over again with the ricochet! Ah, the ricochet! Okay, that's interesting. I, so far, I'm a little underwhelmed with the weapons in this game. Be careful where you put those, hon. Yeah, shoots at a higher rate, max ammo. Go. Uh -huh. Upgrades ready. Are you? Ooh, definitely want to increase the range of the shotgun. There we go. Should be good for now. Yeah, like I was saying though, I've I've been a I've been a tad. Have to lower the bridge 
now. Been a tad underwhelmed with the weapons. There we go. Ah, uh, you know what? We could head to her. We could head over to her uh, hideout. But you know what? I think instead, we'll go through the portal. Okay. Do not enter. Got it. May I take a look? I have some experience with dimensional anomalies. I... sure. <sighs> okay. Greetings! Welcome! How did you get in here? Where exactly is, um, here? Oh, you don't know? Well, I don't either. It appears <laughs> to be a space between dimensions. Could be nothing. Could be a cascading entropic fissure that will soon turn the entire universe into a formless soup. Time will tell. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I am Clank. Please allow me to help. Right, yes, Clank. I am the all-seeing cosmic prophet of interdimensional sector 2255 phase Omega. But you can call me Gary. Okay, Gary. Clank, former warbot, uh, teamed up with the Lombax, became a hero. Ooh, good for you. Ooh, ooh, friend of my father. I see. Your father? You might just be the one I've been waiting for. Would you like to help me fix the dimensions? Okay. Fix the dimensions? And why are there copies of me running around? They're your possibilities. The key to repairing this anomaly. But first, pick up that nearby sphere. Interesting. Okay, I, I, I've played a lot of Clank levels in Ratchet games, but... On any object it touches, it seems your possibilities are what keeps an anomaly from collapsing. They look like you because that's how you interpret dimensionality. But as you can see, they've lost their way. If you can guide them to the meta terminal ahead, you will begin to repair this anomaly. <laughs> Okay. Now, enter the meta terminal and you'll be one step closer to fixing this dimensional anomaly. Like I said, I've played a lot of clank levels in ratchet games over the past, but this is uh This is unique. I feel like things are slowly starting to make sense. But uh, really? Cuz I I'm not A speed sphere. That'll get you moving. Hmm. I bet some extra speed could make quick work of that barrier. Do you live on Sargasso too, Gary? Savali, actually. I've been studying in the archives. It's the greatest repository of dimensional knowledge I've ever seen.
So if I give them some extra speed... And then a jump... Yeah. That device may be able to redirect my possibilities. There must be a way to activate it. Yeah, we tried standing on it. Outstanding! You seem to be a natural at this, Clank. I am cautiously optimistic. Uh, was it the 2016 one that you ba that we kind of played Pikmin with, like, mini Clanks? Does anybody remember that? Something by completing these puzzles, but I cannot explain what it is. Words will come to you when you are ready. Now, lead your possibilities to the final meta terminal. And not to stress you out, but there's a lot riding on this. Like, a lot, a lot. If I fix this account, will that fix all the damage that has been done in this dimension? Oh, no. Anomalies are spreading too quickly to do that. I'm afraid a delusional cataclysm is coming, and our only hope to stop it is with that which caused it. The Dimensionator? Indeed. But if repairing anomalies is helping you learn about dimensionality, I think you'll soon be able to learn enough to save us all. Hopefully. I wonder if I will be able to solve all of this in the end. What makes you say that? It has been a long time since I have been a hero. And with everything that happened with the Dimensionator, I am concerned. In times of great stress, which... Seems to be every day of my life. <laughs> I've always found it best to take things one step at a time. Focus on what's in front of you. Hmm. Okay, so I have... That lift sphere. There we go. So we do that. That. Stand on this. Bam. So then I says, listen, Mort, you, Mort, and Mort better hide that lemonade before Mort Okay, so they're all named Mort. Fantastic. I am uncertain. Rivet! Who the heck are you? Look who it is! <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe my luck today. My trip to Nefarious City went totally sideways. I wrecked my ship, and I... Uh -huh. You go on and leave that one to old Mort. <laughs> well, assuming you brought that part I asked for, hmm? I'll have this old thing in ship shape. <laughs> ah, get it? Ship shape. What are we going to do there? You'll find out soon enough. Huh. Nah. Right. Is that the is that the what? I have to fight you again?
been ready. But the controls to lower it are over there on that platform. Thanks for looking out. I'll find a way over. And more boxes. I still got a lot of places on this planet to go explore. But, uh, nah, we'll do that in, uh... Don't tell me. My love thingy can interact with that rift thingy. Your rift tether, yes. Try aiming at the rift. Where's that other ship? Where'd that ship go? I wish you had a jetpack, Mitra Bolt. I do as well. <laughs> Thanks, Clank. You know, I I gotta say, I like the writing. I, I mean, I I mean, come on. Did we have any doubt the writing was gonna be fun? I mean, it's one of. In my opinion, uh, Insomniac specialties. It's just that goofy, kind of quippy dialogue. I mean, frankly, it's what made them perfect for... Uh, it's what made them perfect for the Spider-Man games. But yeah, I mean, it, it made him perfect for the Spider-Man games, and it, it it still shows in this. I I still feel like it's a little tame, I suppose. Cause it, just because the older Ratchet games were found a way to be edgy without being edgy, if that makes sense. You know, they, they found that, that perfect way to... It, it, they found that perfect line between kind of being a wholesome experience that, you know, young adults and kids could play, but still have something for, you know, uh, your older teenagers. I guess that fits the young adult category, but you know what I'm getting at. There has to be another way across. Yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I think the... What about the speed of I do regret this. Um, yeah, whatever the hell I'm getting at. Uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is I, I think the dialogue could be a little more... I push the envelope a little bit more, but... But so far, I'm not disappointed.
Come on. Jesus, stop spawning! I'm trying to look at the this whole map. Um, I'm trying to think because I because I doubt we're gonna go to all of these platforms by the time we hit the uh. Uh, come on, brain. By the time we hit rivets, uh. Oh, sweet. Her uh, hideout. So uh, I'll kind of leave the question to you guys. Do you do you want to see me explore all the different uh, all the different maps and try and find all the secrets and everything? Probably won't be a hundred percent LP, but you know, would you like to see me try and find all the bolts and all the everything? You know, it's one it's one of those things I'm not opposed to doing that. I love Ratchet and Clank games and I'm having a whole lot of fun with this, so why are you so hesitant to trust me? Look, robots aren't really my thing. Especially when they're tearing my galaxy apart. I am not. I was trying to help Ratchet find the other Lombaxes. We'll see the truth soon enough. Once I scan you and the infobot I found in Nefarious City. <laughs> This is extremely unnecessary. As I have been saying, repeatedly. You're nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him, too. And that Lombax. I know it might sound crazy, but... You think he is your dimensional counterpart. Or something. Look, whatever's going on here, we're gonna fix it. We? I thought robots are... Not your thing. Not all of them, just most. You know, like the Emperor, his stupid followers, pirates. Yeah, I see the irony too. Oh, I apologize. I did not mean to, um... You feel bad? Even though I just watched your brain diary thingy? Really? You saved the infobot, you didn't save Clank. Hey, that's my annoying robot. Deploying 
amphibious explosives to neutralize hostile furball. Out of my way. That Seeker Pete's flight stabilizer should be on its back. If I can get up there and hit it, I can bring the whole thing down. Yeah, the problem is we need a ramp. Like that. Excuse me. This reminds me of a Gears of War level. Yeah, was uh, was it in um? God damn, was it in Gears Two that you fought that weird Kraken-like locust monster? Or was that in Gears One? I can't remember. As much as I love that franchise, there's a lot of crossover between the first two games in my brain. Stop moving so fast. Okay. Eh, well, let's he let's head back. Let's finish up this planet and see what's going on. I I'd be super surprised if they're. Hook you up with the signal booster to fix that communicator of yours. But that would be delightful. Not as thrilling as what we're going to find in this info bot, but it'll be close. What was I about to say? Um, if it, and, 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 there's no way that we're not going to have the ability to 
double back and come back here if we miss anything. Thank you. Ready to go? Absolutely. Well. Yeah, it says there's should be something something past that door. See, I also find it funny she said robots weren't her thing, yet she had that robot helping her from the start. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, I can't get in there. Interesting. Um, I'm trying to think. Do I want to go through, get the next cutscene? Um, you know what? I think we'll actually just end it right here. And like I said, I'll, I'll kind of leave it up to you guys. You want to see me explore the planet, because if or you know the rest of the map that I haven't, because I will if you want to see it. If not, we'll just hop into the ship and uh, move on in the next video. So I'll kind of leave that up to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Social media is in the description. Like, comment, if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gels. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.